Joff. Heroes and Wizards is the card game from Joff Games that's all about gathering together a legendary team of fantasy heroes by collecting and stealing cards from other players. The aim of the game is simple. Collect hero cards to make a party of heroes, then send that party on a quest to save the kingdom and win the game. But you can only send your party on this quest if they are skilled enough to succeed. You see, hero cards each have some skill symbols on them. These symbols represent the heroic powers and specialities of each hero. Your party needs to have at least six matching skills in it all together before they are ready to go on their quest. The matching skills can be either strength, sturdiness, speed or magic. Once your party is ready with six matching skills, all you need to go on a quest and win the game is a quest card. Okay, ready to start playing? Start the game by shuffling all the cards in the deck and dealing three cards to each player. These cards form each player's hand and should be kept a secret. Place the deck face down in the middle of the playing table and you're ready to begin. From here on, players take turns one at a time. On each player's turn, you must choose between one of three options. You can pick up a card, play a card or dump a card. If you choose to pick up a card, simply take the card off the top of the deck and add it to your hand. But you cannot choose to pick up a card if you already have five cards in your hand. If you choose to play a card instead, you can play any card that's in your hand, but each different type of card is used differently. Hero cards are the beige cards. Each hero has their skills at the bottom and a hero type at the top. You play a hero card straight onto the table in front of you, so all players can see it. All cards that end up on the table in front of you make up your party, but your party can only include one card of each hero type. So if you want to play a hero with a hero type that's already in your party, you must also swap the older hero of the matching type back into your hand straight away. Remember, the goal with your heroes is to build a party with lots of the same skills. The blue cards are the wizard cards. You play these cards exactly like hero cards. The only difference is that they each have a special ability that can change the rules of the game. When a wizard is in your party, its special ability applies to you no matter what. But just like each hero type, you can only have one wizard in your party at a time. Next up are event cards. These cards are green and each have a short instruction written on them. If you choose to play an event card, you place it face up onto a second pile beside the deck in the middle of the table. As soon as you play the event card, you must follow the instruction on the card, even if following any part of the instruction has no effect. The final type of card you can play is a purple quest card. You play these cards anywhere onto the table. When you play one of these cards, you win the game and the game is over. But only if your party has at least six of the same skill symbols between them. You can't play a quest card if your party is not ready yet. And that's each type of card you can play on your turn. Finally, you can choose to dump a card on your turn instead of picking up or playing a card. If you choose this option, get rid of an unwanted card from your hand by placing it face up on the event pile. You can only dump hero or wizard cards. And that's everything. Each player can keep taking turns until somebody plays a quest card and wins the game. Check out the full instructions for more details at joffgames.com.au